In this video, I'm going to give basic overview and internal details of an old Royce model 1-648 CB radio transceiver. It's basic plain Jane run-of-the-mill CB transceiver. Uh, a signal meter, your channel selector, this here is a 40 channel radio with the old style channel display and squelch and volume control and PA CB selector. Speaker, bottom firing, with antenna, power, external speaker, and PA speaker connections on the back. Now let's look at, now let's look at how it's built on the inside. Oh look, this is the CB lane on its back. As you can see, there's the speaker. And this radio has a modular self-contained frequency generation unit. As you can see by looking at it, it's a PLL based phase lock loop based frequency generation which is what most 40 channel units are and it has the entire frequency generation unit in a prepackaged pre-tuned module that they just solder in at the factory and everything outside of that is the basic radio functionality you can see the wires coming out of the frequency generation unit stuff going to the different units. In general design it uses two amplifier stages on the uh, transmit chain. You have the first amp tune stage, second amp tune stage, and the final and then the final filter network. On the receive stage it is a dual conversion and basically name only. You have signal coming in, TR switching here, then first 27 megahertz tuned amplifier, a tuned circuit amplifier stage, next 27 megahertz tuned circuit, and then you have the 10, 27, there, ah, spit this out straight, the 37 megahertz signal and the 10 megahertz signal injected in the receive chain almost one right after the other. There's no intermediary tuned circuits in between it. So it's technically a dual conversion but just barely by the strictest sense of the term because both frequency conversions happen in one stage and then you have the final 455 kilohertz IF section start of it here 455 kilohertz crystal filter then another 455 kilohertz IF cam then it's to the detector stage a single audio amplifier IC integrated audio amp IC and the integrated final amplifier stage, final am audio amplifier stage, which also serves as the modulator. The distinctive points on this, besides the fact that it doesn't really have any intermediary second conversion stage on the receive chain, is that the transmit final PA heatsink is not connected 
to the outside. So if you sit and talk a long time on this radio, this final amplifier is going to be getting pretty hot because it's not directly, it does not have a direct path to dissipate that. It does not have a direct path to dissipate heat to the outside case. But beyond that, those are only distinctive flaws that I see in the design on this. You see, it was pretty decent. Not the greatest thing in the world. Sensitive enough for normal daily use, but not the most sensitive in the world. I say that is somewhat to do with the lack of receiving stages to a degree because you only have two RF amp stages we have two RF, RF amp tuned circuits one total RF amp stage the mixing stage and two IF amp tuned circuits and only one actual IF amplifier stage of course followed by the integrated audio amplifier and stuff so it could use a little bit more on the receive chain to a degree well the normal TX test or transmit power test with standard 13.8 volt power supply into a 50 ohm non-inductive dummy load yields approximately two and a half, about two and a half watts dead key actual real world output that pretty much does it for the review of the Royce model 1-648 CB transceiver. Take care. Have a good day.